What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monstera Mike, and here we talk about plants. I'm gonna to talk to you today about five of my top favorite philodendrons. All right, number five, Philodendron gloriosum. This plant is native to Colombia. It has beautiful, bright veins, and uh, it's prized for its velvety leaves, and uh, this, these leaves can get pretty large over time, but uh, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, number five at the moment, there it is. Number four, the Philodendron Mexicanum. I'm gonna have to step back. Look how big this guy is. These leaves can get up to two feet long. It's a beautiful plant. It has, the back side has kind of a, a design, a little bit of reddish hue back here. Um, it, it's a climber. You can see some of the aerial roots here. Um, this is a favorite because I just love the shape of the leaves and just how big they can get. So, there you go. Number four. Number three originates from Brazil. It is the Philodendron bilitae. It's a climber as well. Um, it has nice elongated leaves and um, the backs are green and the stems are orange. They're beautiful bright orange. Um, and uh, yeah, I love this plant. I love the foliage. I, I, I like the potential it, it has. And there you go. That is number three on my list. Let's go to number two. All right, number two, we got the Florida Ghost. I'm sure some of you guys will agree with this one. This is a spectacular plant. I love how the new leaves, they come in, uh, they'll actually come in white, and then they'll turn to this kind of minty green, as you can see here. Then as they mature, they'll turn to the darker green, like this. Super easy since day one, never had any issues with, with it. Um, just gave it some support. It's an easy plant. Well, we're down to number one. It is my top favorite philodendron um, that I have. And uh, I, I believe it's probably a favorite for a lot of you guys as well. Uh, it originates from Colombia and it is the Philodendron Melanochrysum, AKA the black gold philodendron. Uh, the name Melanochrysum actually means black gold. So um, as they come in, as the leaves grow in, there'll be different colors. Um, they're fluorescent looking, kind of golden, kind of brown. And then they harden and become this green color. And then over time, um, the heart shaped leaves actually get really large and they look pretty dark. Um, so these leaves have so many stages um, as they grow, but it's pretty easy, in my opinion, to take care of. I'm watering this guy maybe once a week, maybe twice a week in the summer, and um, just let it do its thing. I actually don't have any extra humidity for it. Um, it just deals with whatever humidity uh, my house is at, so and right now, uh, in the winter, it's averaging about 30 to 50% humidity, so not super high for this plant, but he's doing well. Well, there you have it. My top five favorite picks. I want to hear what your favorite ones are. Leave a comment below and tell me what your favorite philodendron is. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one.